The Tigers' crisis continues. We tried to leave the Tigers alone tonight. <laughs> no, we they did. weren't the top story. You know, <laughs> we so buried it at so, the back of the show. Well, you've been smashing them all year. You might have had a turn this morning. Uh, oh, look, did you? Buzz, yeah. what can you do, though? Like, in all honesty, mate, you just sit there and you try to just lay off the Tigers. But anyway, 72-6, uh, a record in the NRL era. A uh, record loss in the NRL era. I just don't know... Uh, what the Tigers... Is the uh, towel in? The uh, towel's been thrown in, hasn't it? Well, the towel, I, you know, certainly yeah. the fun hasn't been brought back. Oh, and I feel sorry for Brett Kamal. He was brought in you know, with a you know, chop and block mm. sort of mentality around the club and it just hasn't been able to come through. And I, that was awful mm. on the weekend. There's some irony there, Kenji, that the mm. usual suspects who tear hamstrings to get in front of the mm. cameras and parade around fan out like peacocks and... Um, bang the drum about the fact that the new centre of unexcellence has been opened. You know, they were, they were, they were on, well, they were on about that, mm. right, all last week, um, parading everywhere, and then they come out on Saturday night, and it just goes to show that, you know, you can have the best training facility, supposedly, in the entire world of rugby league, but when you're going to dish that up, but, well, you're not going to do your yeah. supporter base any favours. Buzz, you had uh, a lot to say this morning in the paper. What was that all about? I, I did, and I, I took aim at Tim Sheens, and he, as director of football and coach next year, makes the big decisions. And to release Nofaluma, to release Leilua, to le release Gilda, who I know was playing second grade... So was Nofaluma. Yeah, why were they playing second grade? Because they weren't playing well. But does that come back to the coaching at the West Tigers? Well, the fact that they're first grade footballers and they were struggling to play their best. Hang on, didn't That's you true. orchestrate Tim Sheen's appointment I at knew, the West Tigers? I as knew head coach? you would come up with that. I well, didn't orchestrate it. I didn't orchestrate it all. I had dinner with Tim Sheen's, Leo Lee Hadjapantalis and Justin Pascoe. Hmm. I asked Tim Sheen's, who was right down the other end of the table, would you be interested in coaching? That's what I asked him. Mm. And he said, yes, I would be. And then Lee and Justin nearly fell off their chairs. So it wasn't... I asked the question which brought them to it. I thought there was a headline in the Telegraph. Now, How Buzz orchestrated Tim Sheen's well, signing I, at West Tigers. I asked the question, James. Is that orchestrating? James has know. responded to uh, your column today, Buzz. Oh, has he? What's yeah. he said? Well, I'll, I'll read you a couple of highlights we've got. Yeah, yeah. you'd have great fun doing this, no, but off you go, because I'd like to have last shot. It brings me no, no pleasure, Phil, but mm. Tim does deserve <laughs> his say. <laughs> go on, what's he said? He said, uh, I wouldn't call it a hiccup, according to talking about the loss. He said, but these punches in the face have to be taken sometimes. Fair enough. He said, people still talk about Madge uh, being sacked, obviously. He said, I did offer Sorrell a five-year deal. It wasn't me taking his spot. Now I'm an interim to prepare Benji for the following three years. So, uh, Why did they let those three players go, Kenty? I I it was 72 I was playing reserve grade. Oh, he was showing up in training the, late. But that I, shows what's on. wrong with the West Tigers system. He's not playing reserve grade in Melbourne and Leigh Lewis not playing reserve grade in Townsville. Did you see Melbourne's edge defence prior to him arriving? They lost four games in a row. I'll tell you why I don't that. think it's a bad idea what they've done. I don't think it's a great idea, but I don't think it's a bad idea. So by releasing those three players, mm. and uh, people who at home who don't know this, when you release a player before, you're, before their contracts mm. are up in this period, you get salary cap dispensation. So, the year, four, yep. for, so if, say, for example, what the money they save by letting Leilua go, by letting uh, Gildart and Nofaluma all go to those three clubs, say they save 700, 800,000 for the rest of the season, yep. that 700, 800 goes into next year's cap. So on top of the nine. Who are they going to sign, Kenty? Well, that's the issue. That's the issue. But, but Buzz, you know what who got signed their two big players the, now, don't you? It wasn't Tim Sheens. You know who signed Abby Coruscant and Isaiah Papalihi? was Mark McGuire. Yes, I, I he agree. He signed it. I agree. Now, the last time the West Tigers had all this cash to play with, they signed Josh Reynolds on 850, Moses M by on 900, yeah. and Russell Packer on nearly a million. Yep. So who's so that? Well, what I'm saying to you is just having this cash is not going to solve I agree the West that, Tigers. I agree. Well, As I, I tried right to explain change. to you guys last week, this is a slow fix. It's mm. a rebuild... It's getting those kids, the Campbelltown oh. pathway open. But I would not... If you buy a membership the West Tigers, it'll cost you 1500 bucks, right? Season ticket. 
When you pay for that, you're entitled to see your best 17 every week. It's not that much. I'm a member. It's not 1500 If you Well, mine no, is. Are you I'm trying to tell me Oliver Gildart and David Nofaluma would have reversed the 72 to I'm six trying to tell you that Oliver Gildart has made the eastern suburbs top 17, but he couldn't do it at the West Tigers. I'm yeah, trying to tell you that sure Nofaluma... They've they got some injuries in the outside back. Buzz, he was signed it comes at the Roosters. back to the West Tigers Buzz. coaching that they couldn't thrive there. He was signed at the Roosters because they were short on depth which is probably why he's made their 17, because they are really short, particularly in, in um, outside backs. He scored five tries, Kent, in New South Wales Cup. Well done. But the fact is, they signed him because they were short in those players. Now, if, if we're... So, are you on, are you, you've been bagging the West Tigers for no, weeks no, and weeks and no, weeks. And I think it's been legitimate. But yeah, what but I'm saying to this is, if they take that seven or eight hundred thousand, whatever they're signing, I don't know the exact amount, right? But whatever they're saved by releasing those three players this year, if they can turn that into a signing for next year, I think it's been a good decision because they weren't they making can. a final. They've got one well, good signing; he doesn't well, want to be there. Exactly, we, and we wait to see what happens. But if they don't sign anybody, then it was a dud decision, mm. and, and you were right. But if they can sign someone with that money. That you, you've got to argue because this season's gone. It's all over. They're not, they're it's not... gone because the halves are out injured and they let three stars go. I, I wouldn't call them stars. Leilua, you Leilua, Leilua. He was their best Leilua, forward. Leilua, Leilua, well, Leilua was kicking stones for the, about three games before they released him. After Madge got sacked. After Madge got yeah, sacked, Yeah, but you know why he was kicking, kicking stones? Because he wasn't happy at the West Tigers because of the atmosphere of the football club. Now, you've got to create an atmosphere that's, that's going to want those three players to hang around and do their best. Don't disagree with that, but, but the fact is you wouldn't want to keep him either the way he was going on. And you just, you just don't keep him. You can't. The other two blokes were playing reserve great. Would Fair you enough. Like, would you like the final word to Tim Sheens? No, <laughs> no look, I wish Tim well, I yeah. really do, but Hoops, I never, I didn't orchestrate that. I asked him, was he interested? I, I've known Tim Sheens a long time since he started, real estate agent who began coaching at Penrith when he was just retired as a front rower. What worries me, and I said it this morning, he's been out of NRL football for 10 years and been in England for much of that time, and I'm looking at the professional manner in which Gus Gould is rebuilding Canterbury, and I can't see anything like it at West Tigers. Yeah. Well, he tried for Seraldo. He missed him. Why did he was Seraldo the go there? Well, he's probably Didn't want to be there, just yeah. like these other three. Mm. Well, they've got an opportunity now, the Tigers, like the Bulldogs, and almost like the Dolphins, where they're just clearing the decks. They start from the bottom the up Dolphins. again. They've got, to get, they've, got to, they've got to get a couple of big guns there. Dolphins and don't have a stench around them like Tigers. Well, they've, they've got to get rid of that stench. Thanks, Buzz. Thanks, Hoops. Thanks. Coming up, Cooper Cronk runs his eye over the Premiership race in the countdown to finals footy.